What's up guys, Jordan Hardy here, boxing reporter. You don't have to just be a professional fighter to use Victor Conte's fighter training sack. I use it every day when I'm working out in the gym. Stay fit. I'm Jordan Hardy and I'm Snack Strong. I think that's a good fight. It's a very good fight. Both fighters are very talented. Uh, you know, they're both champions. I mean, uh, one of them is the WC champion. The other one, I mean, Danny Garcia has uh, just lost his title. But I think that he is world champion caliber, as you all know. I think that it's going to be an entertaining fight. I think that the fans are going to win. And I think that it ends by knockout. Uh, but I just don't know the winner. It's a tough fight. I think it's going to be all action all the way through. Then again, there's going to be moments where it's going to be, it's going to be a chess match. I'm sorry, it's not going to be all action. It's going to be a chess match that anything can happen in any given round. And I think that's what people want to see. They want to see, you know, uh, fighters who, who end up going for the knockout. And I think these guys are going to end up, uh, you know, winning by KO. I just don't know which one. You know, it could either be Spence or it could either be Garcia. 100%. I think that people are still worried if he's able to perform at optimum level. But, I mean, our World Championship class, uh, that's something that we will all find out, you know, come come the t fight time. But I was going to say the date, but I, I don't recall the specific date that the fight's going to be. Yeah. Uh, I think that the people are going to, you know, uh, really find out where he's at. But regardless, I think that he his his talent, his technique never fades. It's never going to fade. Uh, but we'll see you know, the other parts in, in his body, how his body is uh, reacting to what happened, you know, in his, in his car accident. Regardless, I think if if Danny Garcia wins, I mean, he should still get tons of credit because regardless, I mean, it's, it's a fight yeah. and talent always stays talent. You know, technique always sticks with you. So it's going to be a absolute uh, entertaining fight and winner gets all the credit from me. Good question. I think that it's a position that is still yet to be earned because there's so many, so much talent, so much talent in that division. Um, I think everybody has their own preference. It depends on what style they they admire most, uh, where they prefer, whether it's aggressive, whether it's uh, high boxing IQ and just outbox your your opponent. You know, because I mean, Danny Garcia is is definitely one of them, and then uh, I mean, Errol Spence is another one of them. Sean Porter. I mean, you got so many guys you know, in the welterweight division. And uh, I think it's all built on preference. T-Bud, I can't forget about T-Bud. You already know T-Bud is an enormous talent. Enormous Thank talent. I, I really like him. <laughs> Thank you. My, yeah, yeah, not yeah. Many people T or promotions include him. <laughs> no, no. No, no, no. You got to include him. I mean, yeah. he's a welterweight champion, and he's the top on the list. I think that he is definitely uh, – either one or two in the list of best welterweights, whoever you have, you know, he has to be at least in the number one or number two, just because of, you know, uh, just his, his uh, overall talent. He's yeah. very versatile. He has power. He has speed. He's a little smaller for his weight, but mm -hmm. he fits it in very well. You know, he's strong. He has heart. He has a high boxing IQ. I think that he's definitely one of my favorites in the uh, welterweight division, 100%. Yo, you, yes, you. Thank you so much for watching this video and make sure to subscribe for more videos of your favorite fighters over here on Fight Up TV and give us a follow online as well at Fight Up TV on Twitter and on Instagram. We appreciate it, guys.